Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey. We may have Mike. Retro. And today we're going to show you how to install and configure Duck Station for retail mode. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, yes. It's such a great time to be alive right now, I'll tell you. So this one's going to be a little bit just like the ret uh, retro arc for retail. We're going to open up the Edge browser, browser and we're going to go to uh, gamer13.github.io. Don't worry, we'll leave a link down in the description below. And we're going to download and install the Gamer 13 App Store. Now, if you've already done this, feel free to skip ahead uh, to the uh, Duck Station stuff, but or you can just watch it and you know and help us kind of get our statistics up. We appreciate that. I'll oh, smash that like button too. Give me numbers. <laughs> we're not desperate or thirsty at all. Um, so download download the app, and next thing we're going to do is launch that App Store. So just like with the RetroArch video, we have all the apps that we need here. Um, so we're going to we're going to select Duck Station and install that. I like free. Free's good. Free's the best. And then we need to download one more application and you may already have it, so if you do, you can skip over that, but the Durango FTP um, client. That's very important because it's going to make your life so much easier when it comes to sharing files between your computer and your Xbox. And we like easy. Alright, so I can see we have the two apps there. We got DuckStation and we have uh, our FTP client. So we're going to launch the Durango FTP client. And just like with the RetroArch video, we set the username, the password, and we click start. And now you can use your favorite uh, FTP client to connect to your Xbox. Just note the IP address. All right, so we got WinSCP open here. Uh, I put in the IP address of the X my Xbox. Uh, I'm going to click the login button. After I kind of circle this, because, you know, I, I do work in IT for a living, so forgive me. I always have to do the little mouse circle to show you where it's at. I'll draw your attention to here. All right, so here is the file structure of your Xbox uh, Series X, S or X. Uh, I do have a D drive because I've actually connected a small, low-profile uh, flash drive to my Xbox to store everything. Uh, you will see I have my PSX folder, so for those that don't know, that's PlayStation 1. So I'm open that, and I created three different folders. I have saves, games, and BIOS. Uh, you can do it however you want to. I like to do it this way because it keeps everything nice and organized. Now, in the BIOS folder, you do need to put in your BIOS, uh, uh, your bin file for your BIOS. I cannot tell you where to get your BIOS file. You're supposed to rip it from your console. Um, Google is your friend. That's all I'm going to say. Google Foo. Next, we got our games folder. Uh, that's where I put all my game ROMs at, or, well, ISOs, and, well, technically they're bins, but as you can see here in a minute when I open up uh, Project Phantasma. So you got a bin and a Q file, and it mainly uses the, it uses the bin file. But I have all my games sorted here, so it's nice and organized. And then, of course, I got my saves where all my game saves are stored at, which makes it easier to transfer transfer between your Xbox to, let's say, your Steam Deck, if you're lucky enough to have one. All right, we're going to go back to the Xbox now, and we're going to launch Duck Station. Now we're going to go down to Settings. We're going to go to the BIOS menu here, and I'm going to set my BIOS directory. So what you do here is just click Parent App to you get all the way to the root of your Xbox. I'm going to select my D drive, which is my flash drive. I'm going to navigate to my PSX folder, my BIOS folder, and then click Use This Directory. So 
So when I click on my uh, US Canada uh, BIOS file, you can see it detected it. It saw it in that folder. So I just went ahead and selected it. And now I have my BIOS file selected. Now we're going to go to the input settings and I'm going to select a quick menu button. Um, So basically, I just uh, pretty much, I pressed R3, I believe, as the button. I tried to pick something that's not used in PlayStation games often. And the reason for this is I want to be able to exit out the games real fast. Okay, there are options for the GPU renderer as well. I just left it at the default, but you can toy around with these and see how they work for you. Now, the enhancement settings is where the magic happens. The internal resolution scale, Duck Station is capable of scaling up to 4K. So you see where I'm going with this. Oh. Now we're at the games list. So we're going to click add search directory. We're going to click that parent directory a bunch of times again. Go back to the root. Select the D drive. And you guessed it. We're going to the PSX folder, the games folder, and we're going to select use this directory. So now it's going to import all of our games. One last thing I want to talk about is the console settings. There is a overclocking setting that you can overclock the virtual CPU of the PlayStation. This will help actually speed up a lot of games like Chrono Cross and them that run like at 25, 20 frames per second. You can actually get it up to 30 to 40. All right, so now we exit out of that, we're going to open up our game menu. And as you can see, all our games are listed here. Um, so it's just a matter of simply uh, clicking in them and launching them. So. Uh, we're going to have some gameplay footage here for you, so be sure to enjoy that. And uh, but let us know what you think. Uh, was this guide easy to follow? Do you like Duck Station over the Retro Art Core? Um, I know the setup's definitely easier. But if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. But as always, I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey. And I'm Mike. And we'll... See ya. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? Hmm. The brass is still warm. These guards were shooting at something very recent.